Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors, a Giant Mouse GM F2 rendition, if you will. This was a sample sent to me by Miss Hope Tucker, and Miss Hope we had on Blade Talk not too long ago. She's awesome. She's part owner in Freight On Lock Co. I'm going to put a link to Miss Hope's store in the description, and I'm going to pin one in the comments. She's got a badass knife store in Syracuse, New York. If you're up that way, drop in or check them out online at safeandlockstore.com. Make sure you do that. Seriously, she's awesome. She sent this to me to check out. I didn't know it was coming. She sent another blade I knew that was, and then this one. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I put in the title, EDC Bliss, EDC Perfection. Hell, I don't even know what I'm going to name it yet, but act like it's one of those things. Here's the thing. Is this the perfect EDC? Well, let's talk about it. Now, I'm going to tell you. From the time I opened the box on this little bastard, I've loved it. What's the perfect EDC? Well, it's got to process food. It's got to process wood. It's got to have a little stabby stab. You know what I'm saying. It's got to do all the functions that you would need a knife to do during a day. It's got to be sharp. It is. It's got to be ergonomic. It is. It's got to be pretty decent material so that it'll hold an edge and last a while. It's not about the latest greatest. It's about stuff that holds up. And that's what it's made of. Is this the perfect DDC? Well, let's talk about it. Let me give you a couple things. One, you come up with this knife. How do you get this knife? Well, you get two designers from Denmark, Anzo and Vox. And that's what I'm going to call them. That's their nicknames. I'm not going to disrespect them by butchering their names. And I would do that. So it's Anzo and Vox. And then you throw an American in there for with some business savvy and giant mouse is formed. Now, Every time I do a video with a new knife company or new to me, they're new to me, I get the fanboys coming out. Guys, let me let me slow you up. Let me stop you. I'm not here to badmouth, to downgrade, to do anything. I'm here to show you the knife work. I don't know their names. I don't know their middle names. I don't know their kids' names. I'm, I'm leaving that to all the fanboys, okay? I love the knife. From what I've seen from the company, I'm digging it. If you got details that I don't, you know, their first cousins, kids, pets, or something, put them in the comments. Other than that, we're just going to focus on this badass knife. Hats off to Anzo and Box, though, because I absolutely adore this knife. Can you tell? It's not my typical knife. If you pointed at that knife and told somebody, hey, Scab loves that knife, they'd probably laugh. I adore this knife. Why? It came sharp out of the box. I love the simplicity of the design. It's a modern take on an old Norse work knife. Now watch right here. We're just going to chop that little electrical K1 half. If somebody asked me not too long ago, Scab, why are you always stripping wire? For 10 years, I was an underground utility locator, and I stripped wire every day. So I like doing it. To me, does, does it make or break the knife? No, but I like having a knife that has the right, you know, edge alignment, edge bevel that can do that. We're going to do some push cuts. I've got to tell you two things. I'm the world's worst push cutter and batoner. I really am, and you'll see both of those in these videos. Listen, we're going to discuss why I love this knife so much, but before we do, guys, there was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own lives, and the stats are everywhere. We're at a holiday, so it's higher. It just is. That's why here at Choir Boys Outdoors, we focus on the number zero vets. We love you. That's that's all it means. You have a place here, and we want to raise awareness. We back to blue over here. We sport Leo. Oh, to the chagrin of many, and I hate to brag. I'm sorry. I, I haven't always, but I do now. Say, Scab White, well, my son's going to be a cop. I kind of got to. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we're a country of laws. And the, and, and the beauty of this country is you can agree to disagree with me, and we'll move forward talking about the knife and leave the causes there. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So here's the deal. I want to say this right here, right now, up front. I don't give a shit if it's this knife, if it's a knife from Walmarts, if it's a knife made of gold, if it's fantasy, if it's movie, if it's functional, if it's camping, hunting. I don't give a damn what the knife is. I'm going to give it my all. We discussed that knife in that video in hand, and don't worry about any other knives. What am I saying there? I don't focus on other knives when I'm doing a knife. I don't think about other knives. This isn't a comparison channel. We focus on the knife in hand. I am focusing on this giant mouse GMF2 in my hand. 
Let's talk about why I think it's the perfect. First and foremost, the overall length is 8.12 inches or 206 millimeters. The blade length is 3.62 inches or 92 millimeters. The cutting edge I got at 3.5, okay? The handle length is 4.43 inches or 112 millimeters. The inner grip is three and three quarters. Now, this to me is a pocket fixed blade, but here's, here's the perfect thing about this knife. Another thing I love, the weight, it's 4.1 ounces. You have a fixed blade at 4.1 ounces that's razor sharp, light to carry, not a problem. It comes with a black leather sheath dangler, beautifully done. This knife, the OEM is in Mangiano, Italy. We all know where that is. The sheath was done there. The knife was done there. Now, right here, I mentioned processing food or cutting up food. Guys, peeling an apple shows the dexterity of the knife, the nimbleness of the knife. Doing a little batoning shows the toughness of the edge. Uh, is there shock in the handle? Is there slippage in the handle? Those type of things. All those things are vital when you're out camping. You don't need a knife that, that has shock in the handle. This one does not. No hot spots. The edges are rounded right? It's more of that European style. The tip, the tip is reinforced, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. It has some great jimping on it. I absolutely love every damn thing about this knife. It has a nice lanyard hold. The handle, the, the, the black micarta is just dope. It just is. We're going to do some stabbing here in a second. If we hadn't already done it, I missed it. But look right there. Look, I love that blade shape. Here we're cutting up some rope. Now, with me, I try to cut up. This is a slicer. This is a cutter, right? This ain't a chopper. It doesn't need to be. Carry the tools you need. Build the skill set around it. We're going to do some stabbing right here. Why? Because sometimes in life, you got to stab something. That's just facts. Look at the ergos, the contour of that handle. Some people are going to say, scab, that's a smaller handle. Okay, it is. But for me, on a pocket fixed blade, it's perfect for what I, I would carry this knife every day of my life. That's not just talking. That's straight up. Y'all don't hear me that excited about many knives. Well, you do. But this thing handles well. Look, there's no slippage. I've handled, I've, I've, hand, I've stabbed both ways. Knife facing away from me, knife facing towards me. Why? Because if you get in a situation where you're forced to defend yourself and you pick up that knife, you cannot take the time to make sure you got it the right way. It has to work both ways. Correct? Correct. Thank you, Scab. The balance point there. What a beautiful, and plus it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love that, but it's perfect because it has plenty of cutting edge. It's easy to handle. It comes sharp. It's well-rounded. Now, some woodsman guys are not going to like that because they can't strike a fair rod on it, right? Okay. So if we had to nitpick it, we're nitpicking it. Now, somebody told me the other day, says, Gavin, never in my life thrown my, my, my knife at a board. Me either. But you know what I've done several times? I've dropped that some bitch. So we do that to kind of test the tip, test the edge. Now look right here. We've done all of this in successive order. So when we pop the trunk, we're cutting. We're not just showing the longevity of the edge. We're showing different cutting mediums that's going to take different handle positions. Is the knife comfortable? Does it slip? Is it workable in any position? Yes, 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 no, it doesn't slip. This is, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's sharp, it's light, it's fast, it's stabby. I'm going to show you stabby in a minute where it might count. And it cuts. It's N690 steel, the Bowler N690. I absolutely love the design. I've said this a million times. I'll say it a million more. The more a knife looks like a knife, the more I love it. This little bastard looks like a knife. The edge held up very, very well. It really did. Now, it takes me a couple hours to shoot these things, and a lot of times I'll be shooting and forget to turn the camera on and have to recut. So when you're seeing these few cuts, you can take in about triple those. Plus, I like to weed through certain footage, right? Now, I got a little short piece of rope. The shorter pieces are harder to cut. They just are but it shows the ability to manipulate the knife, squeeze it in there, and get it done. We don't have but, but about a minute and a half left. Listen, I love this knife. Miss Hope, thank you so much for sending it. This is my first ever 
first ever giant mouse on the on the channel. I hope it's not the last. I know they don't. I know they make runs of like 400, and of the 400, 100 are special, and are marked so, and then they discontinue that. That's what I read. If that's changed, it's changed. So that makes these damn things incredibly special. This model is insanely special. I love it. It it just works, and that to me that makes a perfect EDC too. A knife that works that's not hard to work. You don't have to manipulate it. You don't have to do a lot. The damn thing just works. So Miss Hope, thank you. Y'all go to Freight Unlock, Freight Unlock, and check her out. There will be links in the description and pin. Shout outs, Big J's knives. He's marching towards a thousand. Rusty Knife Lover, Brothers of the Knives. He's marching towards a thousand. Let's get those guys. To a thousand. Randy's WSL, good dude. Let's get after him. And then, of course, Donnie and Joe Love and all the fellas, Grugsy, everybody. Shout outs all around. Guys, check my community page. I've got a ton of great channels, new channels coming along. Go check them out. Here, watch this. We're just some quick stabs. There we go. One, two, some more quick ones there. In and out, in and out. Perfect little stabby, perfect little self defensey thing. I love it. I'm scabbed. You're not. And I'm gone, son.